This is a video about creating the Mandelbrot set using GeoGebra. The Mandelbrot set is a famous fractal in the complex plane which starts off with a function f takes in a complex number and gives out a complex number and is given by the formula f of z equals z squared plus c. To determine whether or not a point is in the Mandelbrot set, given your complex number c, we begin to iterate this function. You calculate f of c and you get out a new complex number. Then we use that as the input again. Plug it in, get out a new complex number. Plug that input in, get out a new complex number, and continue. The value of z is changing each time, but the value of c is always that initial complex number we plugged in. And then, if in the limit f of z is bounded, then the point is in the Mandelbrot set. On the other hand, if in the limit f of z is equal to infinity, then the point is not in the Mandelbrot set. So let's use GeoGebra to show which points are in this set. Well, first, I'll click off the Algebra window, and I'd like to view the Spreadsheet window. Spreadsheets are excellent tools for iterating a function. I also need a complex number to start with. I'll type it into my input bar. Maybe I'll choose the complex number 1 plus i. Notice that this point corresponds to the coordinates of the complex number. So the complex number 1 plus i, the real part refers to the x value of the coordinate, and the imaginary part refers to the y value of the coordinate. Now over in my spreadsheet, spreadsheets are great for iterating functions. In this first cell, I want to put the value of the point z1. So I'll type equals z underscore 1. The underscore gives me a subscript, and when you press enter, you notice I get the value of the point. Next, I'd like to take the value in cell A1, square it, and add it to itself. So I'll type the formula equals A1 squared plus A1, and press enter. Now, typing the same formula again and again is going to get pretty tiresome. Spreadsheets have an interesting inbuilt capability. So if I were to say, copy this cell, and then paste the value in the cell below it, I won't actually be pasting the value, but I'll be pasting the formula. And moreover, the formulas are calculated relative to their position. Specifically, this formula is understood by the spreadsheet to be A1 is the cell above it, so this formula says, square the value of the cell above this one and add the value of the cell above this one. So if I paste that value in, notice that if I click this, all the values have updated relatively. Now the result in this cell is the square of the value above it plus the value above it. However, according to the Mandelbrot formula, we want to square our input, but then add the original point C. I don't want this to be A2. I always want this constant being added to be the value in A1. So how do I do that? In other words, I need to override this updating behavior. I don't want the A1 to be updated to A2. I'd like that to stay as A1. Spreadsheets have a built-in way to do this. I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the 1 and press Enter. Notice that that number hasn't changed, but if I delete the cell A3 and try copying it again and pasting into this cell, notice that I've got a different value. Furthermore, if I click, that dollar sign has caused this value 1 to not change. If I repeat this process, if I copy and paste into this lower cell, I get another value. In fact, I can click, hold down the left mouse button, and drag to some number of cells, and then if I right-click and paste the formula, notice it gets updated. Now, for this particular value, you might notice that eventually you get some nonsense answer here, question mark minus question mark i. That actually refers to infinity, 
In other words, this number has gotten so incredibly large, it's out of bounds for GeoGebra to be able to handle. Since this value, under iteration, goes to infinity, this original point is not in the Mandelbrot set. So next, we have the question of graphically displaying all the points which are in the Mandelbrot set. So what I'm going to do is use a few features of GeoGebra. Well, the first thing I'll do is I'll select all of these objects, and I'll right-click, and if I choose the option Show Object, that will toggle the visibility, and all those points will become invisible. And furthermore, I want to somehow indicate whether or not the iteration of this point goes to infinity or not. In other words, I'd like a test as to whether or not this value, after, say, 25 iterations, is infinite. To check if a number is finite in GeoGebra, we need to create a function. I'll call that function test of x. Now, one property that all finite numbers have is that they're equal to itself. It sounds kind of obvious. 2 is equal to 2, 4 is equal to 4. But a property that infinite numbers do not have is that they're not necessarily equal to themselves. For instance, is infinity equal to infinity? Well, that depends on the kind of infinity. So to create a test as to whether or not numbers are infinite, we'll compare a number x to itself. So this function will have either a true or a false as an output. And the way I check to see if a number is equal to itself is with a double equal sign. That's the comparison operator in GeoGebra. So after typing this into the input bar, I'll press Enter. And that function will be stored for me to use. Now, where will I use this function? How will I have this point tell me whether or not it's in the set? Next, I'd like a way to color this point to show whether or not it's in the Mandelbrot set as I drag it around. I'd like this point to be colored black if it is in the Mandelbrot set and red if it is not. If I right-click and go to Object Properties, there's lots of things you can change about a point. Its size, its color, but I'd like to dynamically change the color. In other words, I'd like to change the amount of red, green, and blue depending on its position. Now, every amount of color has some amount of red, green, and blue in it. 0, 0, 0 corresponds to the color black. To determine whether or not it's red, I'll use the test function on the value in the cell A25. If the result is true, if it's finite, I want there to be zero amount of red. If the test is false, if the value is infinite, I'd like there to be 100% red in this point. So if I test the value in cell A25, if this value is finite, then I want the point to be black, 0% red. If the test is false, then I want the value 1. I would like a red point. I'll press Enter. I'll press X to close. And notice my point is red. This is not in the Mandelbrot set. However, as I click and drag this point, notice that for this particular value, for starting value of 0.35 plus 0.23i, this value does not seem to go to infinity. It seems to be finite, so I'll mark this point as black. Last but not least, how do I keep track of all these different values at each point? Is there any way to make the color stick as I move the point around? The answer is yes. If you right-click on any object in GeoGebra, there's an option Trace On. I'll click that, then once again I'll drag this point. And now I can drag this point along at some points it's red, at some points it's black. So I start to get an idea of the set of points that's in the Mandelbrot set. Not a very good picture, though. This is kind of time-consuming, and as I drag it around, I'm missing out on a lot of points. I'm just getting a very rough idea here. Is there a better way? There sure is.